Welcome back guys to another beer review, the final one of the Friday night. Before we get going, I'm not going to drag it on too long because I don't want to bore you all with it, but don't forget Scott and Wanda from uh, Scott and Wanda's World. Their 12 hour live stream uh, for charity in Ada Great Ormond Street Hospital, which is very close to their arts. Uh, that's on 27th of February, a week tomorrow from midday till midnight. 10 guests at least, that could be extended. Lots of fun and games and silly things going on. Uh, go along to watch, whether you want to have a good 12 hour session or or just go along and, and just watch for half hour. I'll put a link uh, for the Just Giving page in the description of this video so you can donate there. So that's it, I've given it a shout out. That's enough, I'm not gonna bore you too much. Next beer up, actually quickly, I'm gonna go back again as well. Uh, Anyone that's watched me videos, I've done like a modification, upgrades, whatever, for the perfect draft and the blade. Uh, I showed you the tap handle that I got made. Obviously, there's all the medallions. I also got these LED things, as I said, which you can get all the beer scrolling across the name of the beer and that on it. In that video, I mentioned uh, from Pimp My Blade, who are on Facebook and all that lot, so go and check them out. Really good. Uh, that I bought some light filters just while I'm here quickly just to bore you is an example of the light filters that I've got for the blade this tap here that has let's get that on stainless steel etched that was from pimp my blade uh, but the light filters that go on I got a set of them and you get you get five of each color and six colors so you basically get 30 filters and they were 20 quid with free postage. Really make good addition, you know, you get Heineken in there, put the green ones on, which look real cool. Anyway, we'll get past all that shit now. <sighs> Deep breath now, pass. We'll get on with the beer review. Now, I've got a feeling this is gonna be something special. Well, I'll be honest with you, I know it's something special. I had two bottles of it, I've drunk the one. And, it's a cracking beer, it's a cracking beer. Uh, so next beer up is from Belgium. It's from the Van Steenberg Brewery, if I'm correct. Da -da 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 -da. Browery Van Steenberg. Uh, and this is a bottle of Golden Drac 9000 quadruple. 330 ml bottle coming in at 10.5%. Now, I got this, I got eight beers in the pack from Belgium in a box. Two of these, two of the Brewmaster, two of the Imperial Stout, and two of the just standard Golden Drac, I think, the triple. Uh, I also got this absolutely beautiful, which is probably my favourite glass that I have. It's beautiful glass, absolutely stunning. And that virtually holds a pint as well. Virtually holds a pint, you wouldn't think so. And I also got, in the background, shall I move, shall I? I don't know if you can see. No, nope, well, just there, I think. Yes, the one below the triple Carmelite uh, got free uh, bar mat as well. And it was about 28 euros, so about 25 quid for eight absolutely stonking beers, an absolute work of art of a glass and a beer towel, beer mat, bar mat, I should say. Uh, so yeah, I'm waffling on now. Uh, sometimes you can get these in Lidl's, in a six pack. So look out for them. They're normally 11 99 I think, for six bottles. That is a steal. So next time they go in there, you end up getting two golden drags, not necessarily the quadruple one. Uh, two Bornham, two Pirate, and two golden drags. So if you see them and you're into your Belgian beers, pick them up, because they are a steal. In fact, next time I'll probably end up picking about four packs up, I reckon. So, uh, yeah, so <laughs> there's the old Golden Drag, which is basically Golden Dragon. Nice sort of wrap on it. Uh, there we go. Golden Drag, Golden Dragon. Lovely bottle cap, lovely glass, like I say. So let's get on with this review because I've gone on for four minutes and got anywhere. Slightly lively. I do apologise for boring you. I'll apologise now. Hope you're having a good Friday anyway. Getting a few beers down you. 
Uh, I'm going to beg, beg and beg and beg anyone that watches that hasn't subscribed to my channel. 492. I want to hit 900 by the end of Sunday. Please, please, please subscribe if you enjoy my videos. Uh, feel free to comment. If I'm boring you, I apologise. If you don't like my videos, don't watch. Don't be offensive. Or don't be a dick if you like. So, right. Let's get on with it. I've really dragged this one out, haven't I? So, beer in a glass. Look at that. A lovely sort of caramel colour, I would say. Carbonation in there. I know you might not be able to see it, but my God, it's raging up from the bottom. Really is flying up there. A lovely, like I say, caramel amber colour. We've got quite a compact finger of slightly off, just slightly off white head, if we're going to be picky. So looks really good. So let's dive in on the nose, see what we get. A tad of booziness. 10.5% by the way, I don't know if I said that, 10.5%. Where are you going to get pick them beers up at like bloody two quid a piece? You're not, are you? Little bit boozy. Little bit sort of like toffee caramel notes in there. Malty. Maybe a little sort of bit of dark fruit in the aroma as well. It smells lovely though. It smells rich. It smells indulgent. So without further ado, let's dive in. Look at that. What a beautiful glass. Cheers. That. That is how you do a 10.5% beer. Smooth. Beautiful body. Smooth as you like. A little bit of carbonation. And there is a little bit of booziness in the taste. There is no denying that. If you're used to drinking 4% beers, you're going to drink this and go, Jesus Christ, that's strong, isn't it? But... But if you do drink things a little bit higher and adjust to the taste, re it really doesn't drink like a 10.5% beer, if I'm totally honest. It's malty, toffee caramel notes, a fruitiness in there, a little bit sticky on the mouth. Not overly yeasty that you'd normally get from Belgian beers. It's so drinkable, extremely dangerous. We're in, I'll tell you what, right? Well, I say extremely dangerous. It's on the edge of dangerous. There's enough warning signs in this beer to let you know that you can't just sit there and go rush. But it drinks like you could do that. It's a, it's a sipper. It's an enjoyable sipper. It's like anyone that maybe that does that loves a good whiskey and all that like you don't sit there and guzzle it this is the sort of beer that you sit down and enjoy mm. again yeah rich smooth slightly sweet toffee caramel fruity notes i would say sort of like dark fruit sort of notes in there it's just it really is a beautiful drink uh, you could class it as a work of art really uh, it's one you could just sit there and love uh, so for me this is a huge thumbs up huge thumbs up so uh, golden drack 9000 quadruple highly recommend if you're into your Belgian beers this is one you need to try uh, and to be honest, even if you're not necessarily into them and you're trying them, uh, although I don't think you get this one in the Lidl's pack, I don't think you do, but I could be wrong. I could be wrong. Uh, if you see them in Lidl's, the pack that they do, they're worth picking up at two quid a shot. They might not suit you, but at two quid, if they do, you're going to be blown away. So I highly recommend that. Anyone out there that's had that, uh, let me know what you think. I can't believe anyone would not like that beer, in all honesty. So, uh, 
So yeah, thanks for watching. Hope you've enjoyed my videos tonight. Three more, <coughs> excuse me. Three more coming tomorrow, three more coming Sunday. Uh, and that's it, so thanks for watching. Like I say, please subscribe and all that lot. And I'll see you again soon on another beer review. Uh.